Hey guys, so I'm here in my local shop here in my rural. So this is how it looks like guys, check it out. So we are so much blessed. We have an m over here. And this uh, local shop is located just nearby the, the, the Marum Road. So I just came over here to, to buy a breakfast. So I want to buy a mandazi. The day was really fine, so after taking my little breakfast, so I here just to get over here, yeah, to see how far Kevin has gone with a building this cow shed. Yeah, for real, it's really impressive that this young man, he just constructed this new cow shed under duration of three days. So really optimistic, energetic. I don't know what, which word I can which adjective I can use for him for really he's really hard working person and they opted to build this new one because the other old one was really worn out as you can check out over there yeah so it was it was just getting down anytime soon so they here they here just to make a good decision to build a new one and that's the reason why uh, uh, Kevin is building a new one yeah guys so beside a uh, construction stuff and all that so uh, we all know that there are some other people who usually uh, walk door to door or or how every household collecting the scrap metal so this guy uh, is from from the other end of the town so he's just over here trying to collect the scrap metal which are available so uh, how much you're gonna be given from the scrap metal your fate is being dependent on how on the weight your scrap metal is it, gonna weigh yeah so guys this is how they things they are and this is how locals from the village do survive yeah maybe they, they just sell something like scrap metal dig for someone in the chamber so that they can get their daily bread and beside uh, this scrap metal guy giving you cash okay you can also decide if you can be given a corpse as the one you, you see here here guys <laughs> Ten kgs, guys. Hey, the more than a person, One kg is how much? Julia show. When I So one kg is three fifty. Yeah, for real life is very really hard on the other end. Just try to imagine that one kg is equivalent to 35 shillings, that is Kenyan shilling. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much is that in two dollars. Yeah. yeah, it's really too little for, for, to earn for a living. Just check it out. Yeah, but it is a risk. Yeah, that's how life it is at the rural side. <laughs> Yeah, in an African village, so that's how people do survive. Yeah, so they run away that one. Wow, it's really huge. Just check it out how they are gonna go, how they are going to do it. Wow, it's really huge. So they want to sell the wheelbarrow to the scraps. So let's check it out how it's going. So, yeah. Ah, 
so guys over here the guy is trying to fold up the iron sheet so yeah though it's really risky he can just lose his uh, his toenail but yeah it is what it is after a long day so i just had to get to a farm nearby i saw some kids they were trying to to yeah to harvest uh, is it harvesting or catching up is uh, some some of the insects and they all believe that these insects are really nutritious yeah and most of them believe that these insects they provide proteins they have fats yeah which is good in 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 information and every uh, metabolism in the body and everything yeah so here we are just check it out wow i don't know what i can say Ooh. wow really over here just check it out here just check it out over here wow bro. they are really men yeah, yeah. they are really men i don't know what i can say yeah. and they should be eaten in this side uh, so check it out this is how they are, so, uh, these are ants, so from the holes are, they are extracted or they are, yeah, so they live from the whole day, they start flowering and they are so much nutritious, they have a lot of protein guys, as you can check it out, wow, they are really made to check it out over here, just check out the, how they are. Check out this one. They're getting out from the hall. Let's check out the hall. Uh, Woo! I don't know how I can see. Just check it out. Uh, they are called termites. So this is how they are. Guys, woo! Even the hen is trying to feast on it. Yeah, it's there. And they're harvesting here. So you see, there is the bucket. Uh, yeah, they're trying to harvest it. So, this plant they usually whenever they want to fly out, so they are being engulfed. Then they are collected in one place. So, this is how they are done. Yeah, check out. They really fly. If it was summer, even here they are forming up. Check it out, guys. So they are now preparing a cassava to be grinded so they can feast it with the uh, with the termites they were extracting from the from the farm. Wow! <laughs> I'll just try it out to take it today, but I've never tested it all. So let me tell you guys, cassava. Ugali is really nutritious. It has a lot of fiber which helps in constipation. And whenever you take it, it stays for a long time before you start getting uh, hungry or starving. Yeah, I just love the I just love the meal which is prepared with cassava. Cassava ugali or how do we call it? Yeah, and most of the majority the love cassava they're from Teso. Yeah. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, please, and share.